Itachi's life path led me to this answer. In order to protect the land of fire and the village, he sacrificed his clan and himself. So I first needed to know why. What is this land and village that he would go so far to protect? The previous Hokage said that the village is a framework created to stop the slaughter of many clans and children. A framework that was supposed to lead to peace. Itachi was trying to sustain that peace all by himself. That's what I finally came to understand. Suffering in darkness as a criminal and traitor to land and village. He was a shinobi who took on all hatred and protected the land of fire and the leaf village from the shadows. I feel that he was the true Hokage. It's not the one acknowledged by all, but the one who accepts all the hatred that is worthy of that title. And I eventually came to understand Itachi's feelings for his land and village, but my brother made one mistake. By leaving me, his little brother, alive, and being unable to hide the truth from me, he allowed the hatred to spread. However, I'm not like my big brother anymore. I have no father, mother, brother, not even a single member of my clan, which means that I am alone. I alone can bear the weight of all the hatred in the world now, and I alone will deal with everything personally. I will handle all of the shinobi problems. I shall also dispense all judgment and punishment. I'll concentrate all hatred upon myself and bring every single village under my control.